Hello everyone! I don't know how often I'm going to do these, uh, just because filming every day, I don't know, my life isn't that exciting. <laughs> Vlogging the Defining Moments exhibition was cool, because that gives you something. Um, see my messy apartment in the background, I probably shouldn't do that. Um, let's stay facing the kitchen cabinets. Um, so that was fun, but yeah, on a regular basis I don't really do much. Um, other than teach and read and that would get very boring after a while. I could never be a daily vlogger. You guys would get sick of me and un unsubscribe right away. It's the last day of class and the la last week of classes um, at my university. So I'm, I teach a hybrid class. So I teach in person on Mondays and then I teach online or I'm monitor them online. They submit stuff um, on Thursday. So they're turning in their final paper uh, this Thursday. So I thought, um, so today's the last day until summer school starts that I am going to campus, going to my office, um, walking across campus. So I thought I'd take you guys along with me. And yeah, so um, it's 12.38, so shoot, I'm late, about eight minutes late. Um, that won't be a problem, because I usually get there like 20 minutes early, but I definitely need Starbucks, because I haven't had coffee today. Um, so gonna grab my water bottle, put it in the bag, get my the last of my stuff together, and get going, get to Starbucks. I need a coffee so bad. Okay, so I'm using the new um, Moto Lux bag that I showed in my DSW haul. Um, and it's got pretty much everything that was in my Ted Baker bag. The only thing different is my class binder. And right as I get here and park, the shuttle leaves. Ugh. Perfect timing every single time. It always happens. Um, so I'm on campus. Well, kind of. Um, I've made it to the campus area. I'm in my parking lot, which is about a half mile walk from my office. So I'm going to take the bus because it's a bit warm. And the drive was really, really crazy, windy, and scary. Um, <sighs> rush hour tonight is probably going to be a bastard because people are going to be driving stupid. And it's blowing hard enough to blow cars around. So... I hope we don't get any accidents coming home tonight. Okay. Got my Starbucks. Ooh. And look at those palm trees. They are blowing in the wind. Um, probably gonna screw up my sound too. Oh, locking the door. It is so windy. Um, I hope you can hear this. I'm using my microphone and my headphones. Just waiting. Waiting for my bus. Like I do every Monday. Um, yeah. Waiting in the wind, getting sandblasted on my legs. Joy. Hello. Um, talking quiet because I'm in my office, but no one else is here at the moment. My One of my office mates just left. So I thought I'd give you guys a, I keep looking up to make sure no one walks in. Um, made it here right on time, so technically I'm in office hours, but my students don't come. Um, I might get one in this hour because it's the last day of physical classes, but they don't usually come. Um, so I thought I'd give you guys a quick office tour um, of what my, mostly actually cubicle tour, um, to show you what my little area is like. That used to be my desk during my first year, first, yeah, first year. Um, and then the last, last year and this year I've been in this little cubicle. So I'll do a quick spin and then I'll go a bit more slowly. So, um, I've got my silence please and my bodily and oath from the Bodleian Library, um, program schedule for the ACI, um, some stuff that I've picked up in my travels. So these are from the Hollywood Costume Exhibition a few years ago. Um, that's from when I went to see War Horse a few summers ago. Um, this is a cool um, medieval map 
from Prague um, in the Czech Republic. Um, so it's meant to be Europe. So here's Italy and this is Spain and here's England and Ireland. So really cool. Stonehenge, some general postcards, St. Paul's Cathedral, Prague, um, my tea with bees of Bloomsbury. I love bees. If you're in London, you've got to go to bees. Um, my schedule for next semester, um, teaching internet classes. Um, online is going to be great. My map of Oxford. Um, when I need a mental break, I just kind of turn my chair around and stare at this. Um, all my shelves. Um, so we've got a program from the White Shirt Exhibition, um, just because it's really pretty. Um, some fake flowers just to brighten my space up. Um, tea, which I should probably take home. Um, so I haven't been making it here. Um, and then just some books that I keep, some pictures of my best friend's children, um, more postcards, uh, snack corner. I keep chocolate in here for when my students come, and then things like Thermacare, um, Tylenol. Um, I've got a neck pillow in case I want to take a nap. Um, and then my desk, I still have a 2015 calendar because um, I just haven't gotten a 2016 one since I'm really only going to be in my office for half of 2016. And I never left December because it's Peter Capaldi and, you know, I don't mind looking at him because it's the doctor. And then there's the uh, one of the other doctors, David Tennant, as a postcard a friend sent me. Um, there's also my program or my um, little flyer brochure from the Doctor Who experience sticking out. Um, let's see what else. And I've got some general postcards um, from Liberty of London, um, some other ones that I picked up at Paper Chase, um, some of my, an old to-do list. I've done all those things, but I've kept it because a friend wrote me a special note. Um, be amazing, rule academia, practice goddess, goddess-like tendencies. Check, check, check. Ugh. Um, more St. Paul's Eiffel Tower. Um, I technically do some James Bond research, so I've got my bit of James Bond right there. Um, program from The Crucible. Um, my stress relief, which is just staring at Tom Hiddleston, because, you know, whatever works, and that does. Um, I also do research on Kate Middleton. Um, so I've got my royal family corner. Um, Bridge of Sighs from Oxford. More tea. Hello. Hi. Yeah, so that's my office tour. So I'm gonna do office hours and then I will turn the camera back on when I walk to my classroom. Um, but I feel like it's a little bit better here on campus. Hopefully you'll be able to hear me. Um, walking to my classroom, which takes me about 15 minutes, so not too bad. Um, and I think because of the wind, it's not super hot. So, yeah. But you can see a bit of campus. It's a pretty campus. We've got palm trees. So, not too shabby. Um, yeah, office hours were fine. They were pretty quiet, um, as usual. No one ever comes to office hours. So, um, yeah, not much to report. Um, did my lesson plan really quick. There's really not much to do today. Um, I think all I've got planned for office hours or for classes uh, they need to do their student evals for me, um, and then peer review for their final project, and that's it, and then we're done, except for them turning in the projects, so, but yeah, um, show you a bit more of campus. So this is, um, the engineering area, um, we've got Palm Walk. these buildings. 
buildings on either side are all the science and engineering buildings. I don't, I don't know if you can see, but right there is a big dust cloud. That's how windy it is. It's stirring up all of the dust in the desert around campus. There's some farm fields, um, still some farm property around campus. So very, very, very dusty today. You can see how windy it is with the trees. Um, and in some areas we're kind of protected, but in other areas it's just massive winds that are coming straight off the open desert. It doesn't really make things good. Um, pretty desert flat plants. And then these trees turn bright yellow. These are Palo Verdes. They are every allergy sufferer's nightmare. Campus that way. More science buildings. Big science building. And we're headed over there. Yeah, I'm a mess, but that's okay. I've been a mess all, sem all semester. My students haven't seemed to notice or care. Um, so just got myself logged into the computer system and waiting for students to arrive. Um, they've still got 10 minutes. Yeah, that's only 10 till. So 10 minutes, I actually made it here in pretty good time. Done with class. I'm always sad to say goodbye to another group of students. Especially since I won't be teaching classes in person next year. I'm going to be scheduled to teach online both semesters, so which I'm looking forward to. I mean, that gives me a lot of freedom and flexibility um, time wise, but you don't get to know the students as well. So, always sad to say goodbye, but now. I am walking to the shuttle stop to catch the bus back to my parking lot. Um, and here it comes, and I'm going to miss it. There it goes. Damn it. Means I've got to wait another 20 minutes. I made it home. It's 5 o'clock, not even, 4.59 p.m. and I'm already in bed and in my pajamas. Um, I just had to get changed. <laughs> Does anyone else do that? I'm gonna go have dinner, um, watch some Game of Thrones on HBO On Demand because I just remembered that I actually get HBO, which means I also get On Demand. And so I'm finally able to catch up on Game of Thrones. Like I had only watched part of the first season and now I'm on season three, episode five, I think. Um, so I know the sixth season is just starting. Hi guys. Um, it's a while later. <laughs> I'm up way too late. So this was a typical Monday, um, the same as it's been the last 16 weeks. But as every grad student and teacher knows, um, one semester ends, a new semester begins, and you have a completely different schedule. It's 11 o'clock. I have to be up early for physical therapy, so I really do need to go to bed because I'm up way too late. Um, but you know how it goes with watching TV shows. I was at episode five, I think I said, something like that. Anyway, I've finished season three, so tomorrow I will get to start season four. Yeah, I'm gonna shut up, I'm gonna go to sleep. Um, I hope you enjoyed today and seeing my life on campus and my office. Either way, 
even if you didn't make it this far, and I'm just talking to future me, um, we now have this memory of the last day of spring 2016, and it was good. And I'm going to miss my students, but it was a good day, and I'm going to go to sleep now. Goodbye. <laughs>